Phones have largely replaced almost every other gadget we might want to carry, destroying not only the point-and-shoot camera market, but also the dedicated music player market. But just because phones have speakers and the ability to use headphones doesn't mean all smartphones are created equal. Where 2016 was an amazing year for camera hardware, audio wasn't as well supported for manufacturers we'd normally turn to for high-quality solutions. No cop-outs here, these are the top 5 audio performers of 2016, ranked by our personal listening experiences and the benchmarks we run each phone through while producing our reviews. So let's get to it. Number 5. The OnePlus 3T The bottom firing speaker on the OnePlus 3T is about as good as any company can make, but where this phone shines is when you plug in some headphones. One of the better performers of the year for amp output, quality, and it has a fantastically low noise floor. The 3T impresses even more when you see that sub $500 price. The only drawback and one we didn't face on the regular OnePlus 3 released earlier this year is the inability to disable EQ tweaks and tricks. Hopefully that will be addressed in a software update as otherwise this is a terrific audio option. Number 4. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus we're begrudgingly putting the iPhone on this list at number 4. The industry is walking away from the 3.5mm headphone jack, and we're sad to see a proper standard die in favor of proprietary solutions which will migrate additional costs to consumers who value high-quality audio. Still, for having to plug in this flimsy adapter, the iPhone 7 delivers better playback than most of the phones released this year. Add stereo speakers to the mix, and Apple delivers a formidable player. We can't help but express some frustration though that this adapter situation produces ever so slightly lower quality output than the iPhone SE or the iPhone 6S. If you don't need the stereo speakers, you might be better served with Apple's older gear. Otherwise, maybe look to invest in a couple extra spare headphone adapters because these things, they probably won't last very long. Number 3. The HTC 10 HTC used to rule the roost for all things audio. Boom Sound is still a remarkable competitor, and the HTC 10 sets a high bar for both speaker output and headphone quality. This year brought a controversial move though, straying from traditional stereo speakers, the 10 delivers mono output where higher frequencies are produced by the earpiece and lower frequencies from the bottom speaker. It's a better solution than most other phones, if it might not quite satisfy fans of more traditional left and right channels. This headphone jack is also top tier with fantastic signal to noise ratios. It loses out to the next two options on our list for amp power, but you really can't go wrong with this phone until you start using higher impedance headphones. We're hoping this isn't the end of HTC's audio prowess. The Bolt left us underwhelmed and honestly frustrated with its USB Type-C headphone solution. This year, the audiophile HTC fan is much better served by the 10. Number 2. The LG V20 The V20 is a multimedia and content creation monster. It gets an honorable mention in the audio discussion for including the best microphones and audio capture tools available on any phone released this year. It loses the top spot for its mono bottom firing speaker. Magnificently improved over the LG V10, we'd still appreciate LG moving it to point at our face, if not providing some kind of stereo solution in the future. This phone, however, is the undisputed headphone champ. No other device can top it for high quality output, properly supporting ridiculously high bitrate audio files, crazy low noise floor, and excellent signal to noise ratio. This is also the most sophisticated phone for controlling amp output. The V20 will tailor playback based on the device it's connected to. Plug in some higher impedance cans, and this phone launches into beast mode. Using more consumer-grade options, the phone dials back that power to prevent damaging your headphones or from messing up your hearing. If you want the absolute best for headphone audio, look no further. The V20 is the champ. And that brings us to number one, the ZTE Axon 7. So what if you could get really close to the headphone output of the V20 for less than half the price? Well, the Axon 7 might be the right fit for you. The major drawbacks? ZTE lacks support for true 24-bit output, and it suffers a narrower dynamic range. Otherwise, the Axon 7 trades blows well against the V20 nearly matching noise floor and producing less stereo crosstalk. 
Best of all, we've got maybe the loudest amp on board of any of the phones reviewed this year, and the Axon should do a terrific job driving most headphones, even more expensive fare. It's not as sophisticated as the LG, but it gets the job done better than any other manufacturer. Add some solid stereo speakers to the mix, and what we have here is the spiritual successor to phones like the HTC One M8 and M9. An absolutely fantastic all-rounder for just about any audio situation you might throw at it. That would be exciting enough from any regular flagship phone, but when you consider the recent price cut putting the Axon 7 well under $400, it's an absolutely shocking bang for buck. Putting dollars to donuts, the Axon 7 easily earns our top spot for 2016. Audio this year faced more compromises than other flashier features. Companies like Sony and Samsung delivering options to North America which performed worse than the phones they released in 2015. The Pixel proving to be something of a disappointment, though manufactured by HTC lacking any of HTC's audio expertise. And for the mid-ranger manufacturers, if there were any areas to save on production costs, it was often the audio. If we lose 3.5mm headphone jacks, we hope to see better support for a standard in USB Type-C accessories. Our current solutions haven't been very encouraging. Until then, for the audiophiles in our audience, these phones are the best of the best for 2016. And of course, we want to hear from you. Did your phone make the list? Are you rocking cabled headphones or moving to a wireless solution for convenience? Drop us a comment down below this video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for all of our 2016 wrap-up videos, including our favorite camera phones, mid-rangers, and flagships of the year. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.